statements. Are there any private member statements? I call the member for the Upper Hunter. Thank you, Madam Temporary Speaker. <laughs> it is with great honour, but more than a tinge of sadness, that I take this opportunity to rise in this House of the People to speak of a man who was a great leader in the Upper Hunter electorate and was a role model for many, the late Mr Les Elvin, who was fondly known to all as Uncle Les. Our Upper Hunter community reacted with sadness to news that Uncle Les Elvin passed away recently. Uncle Les was a community leader and a proud Aboriginal Wanarua elder, but also a prominent artist. It is not an exaggeration to say that Uncle Les Elvin was a resident of the whole Hunter Valley. He taught the ways of the Wanarua people to each generation, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous. Although based in Cessnock, Les spent limitless hours crisscrossing across the Hunter, not only sharing his artistic skills, but also the heritage of Indigenous Australian culture. He would often host workshops for young and old, sharing not only traditional techniques, but also the meaning behind symbols used in Aboriginal artwork. As befits a respected and accomplished community leader, Les was a man of many achievements, of which I would like to enlighten the House. Les won the NAIDOC National Award for Artist of the Year in 2008, designed the Newcastle Knights Indigenous jersey in 2009, awarded Freedom of the Shire and Musselbrook in 2012, only the fourth person to have ever received the, reward, uh, sorry, uh, the award, named Cessnock Citizen of the Year in 2012, designed the mural for Musselbrook High School, collaborated with George Anderson to create the Reconciliation Mural in Simpson Park, Musselbrook, <laughs> taught art and acted as a mentor for Indigenous inmates at the St Hilliers Correctional Centre and Cessnock Correctional Centre, and it was a mark of his depth of contribution that many of the inmates at St Hilliers continued their artistic journey once leaving the facility. In 2005, uh, was instrumental in the development of Musselbrook Nadoc Week Aboriginal Art Prize and Exhibition, and sat on the Musselbrook Aboriginal Reconciliation Committee. As you can imagine, his passing leaves quite a void in the artistic and cultural life of our Upper Hunter community. According to Musselbrook Regional Arts Centre Brett Manager Brad Franks, Uncle Les Elvin was one of the Hunter Valley's great artists. His works are represented not just in public collections but in many private homes in the Hunter Valley, as well as across the nation and overseas. Uncle Les Elvin's achievements will not be forgotten. His dedication to the Indigenous community will be sorely missed by the people of the Upper Hunter and the wider Hunter Valley. Madam Temporary Speaker, I'd like to quote a short passage from Uncle Les's granddaughter. Recently she wrote this. This is my pop. Some people know him as Uncle Les, Aboriginal Elder. Some people know him as Australian Aboriginal NAIDOC Artist of the Year. But to me, he was just pop. Bloody pop because he would tell you the worst jokes and that's what you could call him uh, that's what you'd call him after you heard one I can guarantee <clears throat> I'm so lucky god I'm so lucky that I saw you on Sunday pop almost as if the universe wanted to make sure I saw you on Sunday so you could tell me the last bad joke about the woman who could talk to elephants making a trunk call I know I'm lucky I've got to uh, give you a big hug and a kiss on your last day. But it brings m breaks my heart when we won't have our weekly yaks anymore and you'll never pick up the phone and say good morning in a voice as bright as the sun, even though it's 8.30 at night. Or never tell me the stories behind the paintings you've left in the shed. I'm sorry I forgot to ask about them on Sunday, but you taught me enough about the symbols I think I know. You can tell me all about it when I see you next anyway. Be at peace, Pop. Give Auntie Cheryl a big kiss from me and try not to talk the socks off Jesus. Love you, Poppy. Thanks for always making me laugh at your bad jokes. Madam Temporary Speaker, it's clear that Uncle Les was a valued and loved member of our Upper Hunter community, particularly by his family. He was a great man, a wonderful leader and teacher to us all. Vale, Uncle Les Elvin.